Nej, kom da. Det var det. That was actually quite sore. Fair enough. Do you want to chalk them? I should really give up the fans. I think they're gonna kill me. I'm afraid it's a man flu. Oh yeah, fucking man flu. No, I think I'm over that now. Yeah. I think I'm over that now. Ugh. But um. Right. Uh, right. So. Welcome back. Sorry about that. Um. <coughs> yeah, we were talking about um. We were talking about basically just actors on Darwin. Um. Yeah. And yeah, you were about to cast away before I. <laughs> before no. I almost died. <laughs> But uh, yeah, Castaway was another <coughs> was another great example of fucking just being able to hold an audience with one actor or the one. Yeah. And I know there was a lot of people laughing about it. And you know, like when he loses his friend. Oh, and Wilson. Fuck, Wilson. I actually, I, I'll admit it, fucking when Wilson. Oh, he I was, was like, upset. Oh, no, uh, that Wilson. I was upset. Yeah, I was. I was upset. I was same with I Legend when he lost his dog. Yeah. I, Same with the end of the I remember going to see I'm Legend with um, whoever I was going out with at the time. Two of us were sitting in our cinema and like when the dog was dying, I was like, oh god, oh god. I was like, oh no, no, no. he's only friend, no. Yeah. And I like, I look so excited and she's bawling her eyes yeah. out. She's just like, tears streaming down the face. And I was like, oh, oh, oh don't step. <laughs> I think half the people in the cinema when that came up were bawling. It was just, yeah, that was that. It was oh, but like it was a terrible scene, but a brilliant scene mm. at the same time. No one wanted to see it happen, mm. but I kind of had to. But yeah, yeah, I just I, I love films like that. If you can have one actor who can hold you, you know yeah. it's gonna be a good film. And there isn't many films like that. No. Like even the precursors to I Am Legend, they didn't have one actor on its own. Yeah. Like The Last Man on Earth, he's a shitload of actors. Yeah. And The Omega Man, even though for like let's say half the film is on his own, the rest of half it's full, but of, full but of people. But I think the best thing about these types of movies is they only come out once in a blue moon. Mm. They're not like every other genre movie where you have 20 of the bloody things coming out every year. People are just kind of too scared, too scared to make them. Yeah. And it's good because... And when they do, when they, when, when they do... She's after collapsing. When they do, um... <laughs> screw screwed. The show comes first. <laughs> the show must go on. The show must go on. She might die, but no. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, but like I said, it's a good thing that these things only come out once, because if you're, it's like any other genre film that when they pump so many of them out over the year, over the year or whatever, or a couple of years, you just get bored of them. Mm. And it's all oh, right, there's another, oh, it's the same as the one I watched two fucking months ago and all that. Uh, but when these come out once a blue moon, you go, oh, no, this is news. This is going to be good. Yeah. Yeah. Right, I am gonna move swiftly away from this point because we've got basically I've kind of got five minutes left. I want to talk about Battlefield and the beta. The new beta, yeah. Um, right for anyone who owns, I suppose any console really. Well, PS3 or but Xbox, Xbox. 360 specifically because look, I will admit we've had the most problems. Yeah, Xbox has had the most problems with the new beta. Uh, yeah. No, um, for anyone who's played the beta, I mean everyone's looking forward to Battlefield. Now, first of all, I found it strange that it, it's only out a month. Yeah, it's very it's very strange to release a beta only a month before the actual release yeah, of the game. Because I mean, the beta is supposed to it's supposed to work out the kinks, the bugs. Basically, it's community testing. Alpha yeah. is when they have the the gamers who are working for them. Yeah. And it was like, okay, test this, but betas are community Basically testing. Basically, get the people's or the public's opinion on it. Exactly, and the public's opinion isn't great. Yeah, I've watched like I watched one or two videos of people playing the beta today, and they're going, "Oh, this is brilliant and all that." And it is. And about a couple of minutes in, I realised, hold on, they're actually playing it on a PC. They're not playing it on an Xbox or a PS3. Yeah. No, they did. They was it yesterday or Saturday? They actually cut the servers. Yeah, Graham made a. Graham put up a thing about that the servers were down. Yeah, um, and they were going fixing it on all platforms. Yeah. No, I haven't played it since then, so I'm hoping they fixed it. Yeah. Um, and maybe no, that the glitches and all that were just 
byproduct of their servers. Yeah, and because um, they gave it away free, it was stupid. Yeah, but the thing is, um, everyone was going to be playing it. How did you expect to be able to cope with all those people yeah. when your game is not even fully? Whereas, like gears and that, you had to pay for the bases. Hmm. And sure, that way you're only getting the people who are going to get the game anyway, mm. who actually have an opinion about the game. Mm. But like, uh, but uh, like, say, watching the video, you know, and now I said, say, you know, this was on uh, some fellow playing on a PC. They have released a second map. Mm -hmm. Whether it's hit the Xbox yet, I don't know. Either do I. Um, but in the second map, you get all the vehicles. I'm the gonna go up and play jet, now. Jets, helicopters, <laughs> Je Brilliant. jeeps, tanks, the whole the Abraham tanks, the whole lot. Brilliant, and that is what Battlefield is all about. Yeah. Look, Call of Duty is for the people who want to go running, gunning. But even but even Battlefield the man even the man that was reviewing the beta and the video, he said. Um, Normally he's a COD player, but COD is more run around willy nilly. Not yeah. they're, they're, they were the exact words. And to be honest, it's true. Yeah. Whereas he, whereas he said, um, he said Battlefield is one unforgiving game. Mm. If you fuck up, the game will punish you for it. Yeah. But well, thankfully, I'm fucking good at the game. <laughs> not too, actually, I'm not any better at Battlefield than I am at COD. Yeah. But you like say, you know, I don't like the whole running around and having oh, to you, shoot from the hip. Yeah. I prefer to hang back, pick my spot and hold it. You you like a bit of strategy. You know? Yeah. Yeah. And I do I do like the strategy aspect and I just can't wait to use my helicopters. Yeah. Because I know I'm a savage pilot in those. I'd be I'd be more prone with the tanks, I can do I can do damage with mm. those things. Mm. Uh right, uh I suppose we better kinda wrap this show up. Right, uh a little bit more information on our video we've got for this week right as we said like it's both flexidisc uh which is you know, uh the local cd shop which yeah. sadly it closed and um the man who ran it phil hope this fella i think knows more about music than anyone we've actually had uh, any he actually, music we he, had he actually described it to one of the lads he was having an argument with about music one night and he goes to him I could forget, I've forgotten more about music than you'll ever know. Mm. I'm not surprised, Phil, yeah. he's a genius, he taught me guitar. Yeah. And he he just, like say, before I met Phil, I was purely just heavy metal, would not listen to anything else, mm. and the man really opened my mind to music. Yeah. So, no, basically, fucking cheers, Phil. Cheers, Phil, cheers. For, for letting us hang around in your shop, do, and even, though we, even if we weren't spending anything. Mm. So, um, right, well, hope you enjoyed the, the video, and, uh, right, so, I I'm coming to the hook. Shawnee. Mm. Uh, yeah. What's happening? I'm sorry, kid. I was going to No, no, no. Thank you for everybody. No. Shawnee, come back. Goodbye. Come back Stay with me. I regret nothing. Shit. Um, right, uh, I've been coming to the hook. This has been Segway. Um, i got to go find the Ouija board, so I'm not doing the last episode on my own. Right.